Hello everyone, Rover reporter Rich Ackerman here with another story that's rooted in love. Today I'd like to talk about how generous our congregation is with their tithes and offerings that help our church's outreach program in the community. Something that I'm very proud of is our little pantry. The library has been converted to a place where people can come and get some non-perishable items or some personal items to help them get along. One of our staff members, Holly Collins, knows firsthand how Emmanuel helps others on a daily basis. Let's see if she's available for us to speak to. Hi. Hey, Holly. Would you mind answering some questions about how our community outreach and the little pantry has helped others? Sure, come on in. Okay, great. Holly, I know that with your office being so close to the door here at church, you are the first point of contact when people ring the bell. Some of those people are the ones that benefit from our little pantry. Can you share with us some of your experience with these people? Yes, uh, we have some regulars who come to our door. Uh, they are usually very grateful and sometimes we get new people as well. Uh, we have one regular in particular he comes pretty often and asks for things uh, usually related to hot weather or cold weather we're able to help him with and he's always very humble very grateful so that's pretty heartwarming to be able to help him and uh, give him the things that he needs just to get through the day um, and we also have some other people who need different types of assistance i'm able to connect them with pastor rachel and uh, she sits down and meets with them and sometimes is able to help them using the Good Samaritan Fund. That's great. Now, Holly, being the business manager here at church, you also send checks to the agencies Emmanuel has continually supported over the years. Can you remind everybody who they are? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, let me grab my list and I'll share a few of those with you. Um, okay, well, as most of you know, we have a long-term relationship with Brooklawn and Bellwood. We help them pretty often. Uh, we support Highlands Community Ministries, CUE, which helps the seminaries. Um, and more recently, we've participated in Clout, and um, that's been very rewarding. Uh, we also donate to the UCC's Church's Wider Mission Campaign, and we have our Linton and Advent yearly donations. Um, that we always choose to uh, support charitable organizations. Um, and then on top of all that going on, uh, Emmanuel has always been very generous to Crusade for Children, food pantries, uh, and our collections of canned goods that the youth collect, and also the soup drive for Super Bowl Sunday, uh, just to name a few. Even Mission Fest is a great way the congregation gets rooted into the community. Well, thank you, Holly, for your time today. And with Pledge Sunday coming up October 31st, I know you'll be busy with getting the worksheets ready for next year. Oh, yes, definitely. You know I do. So uh, I'll go ahead and show you out. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, see you later. Okay, thanks, Holly. Bye.